All right, folks, uh, you have to excuse my disaster of a shop. Um, I've got multiple projects going, but CNC plasma table. Um, so I took it on to build my own, and knowing nothing about CNC, um, I went on and watched every video I could about it, um, looked up all the different controllers, I settled on the uh, Proma um, My Plasm CNC. Uh, it came with a torch height controller using uh, stepper online closed loop stepper motors for the X and Y axis and um, a kit that I found on Scamazon for the Z axis. Uh, and looking, I found people either building them as cheap as physically possible or building them, let's call it the right way, with huge budgets. And it looked like there was a niche for something in between. Uh, I, this is by no means top of the line uh, and it's not garbage per se either um, to know what it would cost minus the materials like the steel and the stainless boxes electronics boxes um, and the plasma cutter of course so basically for all of your linear rails, lead screws, end stops, stepper motors and drivers, um, the My Plasm control, the torch height controller, uh, I even bought a computer off of Amazon for I think it was $139 uh, to control everything. But the grand total to build this, which is a 4x5, was $1,810. That is broken up with the stepper motors, um, the power supplies, the pulleys, belts, uh, all the little stuff that I had to order. Uh, just about everything was sourced from Scamazon with, and eBay, with the exception of the MyPlasm controller I bought directly from them and received it in like three or four days. Um, they were pretty quick. I was impressed. But uh, first impressions are it's pretty simple. If you want to build a plasma CNC table, it eliminates all the other stuff for doing like CNC mills, lathes, uh, routers, all that other kind of stuff. This is the the Proma My Plasm is derived specifically for a CNC plasma table. And for somebody like me who knows absolutely nothing about CNC, uh, I was able to fumble my way through it okay. Um, but this is just a quick video to say what would it cost to build one that is not the cheapest, but also not going to break the bank. These are Chinese linear rails, Chinese end stops, uh, Stepper Online, uh, not the best company out there. Um, but uh, my aluminum welding was done with a spool gun which I am not good at welding aluminum by any means but uh, yeah it if you can budget a little over two thousand dollars you can build a 4x5 CNC plasma table uh, what you're seeing here on the table was the very first cut I made so we still have some tuning to do uh, figuring out but overall I don't have the water table built yet but um, yeah here it is I got a mess of a I've redone the wiring twice uh, I tried to cheap out use existing wiring that I had and then decided uh, it was better to go back and just order the proper wiring and came back and redid it uh, so far haven't had any issues with um, 
uh, communication issues from the plasma cutter interfering with it. I'm using a Harbor Freight Titanium 45 plasma cutter. Uh, go around back here. This is the Proma. Of course, it's going to be upside down. This is the Proma THC torch height controller um, that came with the controller. Uh, lead screw on the x-axis and two motors run together on the y-axis so far I don't think speeds are going to be an issue it seems like they're okay it can it can move pretty quick um, I used steel for the frame but aluminum for the gantry trying to keep the gantry as light as possible and it still weighs a metric ton. It is uh, it's very heavy. I was amazed when I took it down to paint it how heavy it was. Um, so I don't know here. This was all aluminum that I had laying around. Uh, it's the biggest reason that uh, I don't want to list prices for the materials to build the frame. Uh, the steel, same way. Um, used uh, two inch square tubing. Uh, 3 sixteenths thick for the main part of the frame up top and then 2 inch 14 gauge for the legs and I want to say 1 inch 11 gauge for the cross members um, this is 4 inch by 8 inch uh, square tubing going across the gantry and then some decently thick aluminum plate that I just happen to have laying around the um, this piece right here what you'll notice is these cut down were actually taken off of a boat trailer uh, the L brackets to hold the bunk boards on a boat trailer and I had about eight of them uh, and I was able to stick them in the mill and clean them up a little bit and weld them together to make the brackets that I need this is one piece I think it was about hundred and thirty dollars on Amazon uh, linear rail with the stepper motor uh, only thing I had to purchase on the side of that was the driver which was like twenty seven dollars um, this is a 34 millimeter scope mount on a Picatinny rail uh, to hold the uh, plasma torch for the titanium 45 and it is very snug it does not move uh, anything that's moving is is actually going to be moving in here and other than that I'll try to do a little bit better video once I have the water table bit built and um, have it all tuned in and so forth so on but for now a little bit on the positive side of two thousand dollars and you can build one um, four foot by five foot so anyway any questions leave them in the comments I try to check them don't have production quality of some of these newer channels but um, yeah, I get it laid out a little bit better and get it finished up and tuned in. I'll make another video and maybe get a little bit more technical on everything that's done and how everything's run. Till then, cheers.